I'm Celeste Hart. I'm the registered dietitian and diabetes educator at the Diabetes Program. Um, I just wanted to go through some information for Nutrition, or not Nutrition Month, um, Diabetes Month. Um, November is Diabetes Month, and we'd like you to come in and um, meet with us sometime this year. Um, every time you meet with me, you'll get a cookbook. Um, this is one of them that we use, um, the plate method meal and then create your plate and we have more so every time it's recommended that you see the dietitian and the nurse educator every year so um, please schedule a time to meet us you can call in um, 627-7931 but one of the things I wanted to go over with you is the plate method of meal planning and this is a very good way of meal planning and um, it's just taking your nine inch plate and dividing it down the middle and filling it with vegetables. Um, so the vegetables are very low in calorie, um, low in carbohydrate and high in water and fiber. So they really fill you up and they do not raise your blood sugar. So any kind of vegetables is really good. Um, fresh is great, salads are great. Uh, you can also use the frozen vegetables because they're frozen when they have the most nutrients. Even canned are good. You can rinse them off in a colander and that takes off 40% of the salt. So just try to load up on the vegetables. Um, another thing, part of it is the leaner meat. So this part is like a pork chop. So um, beef and pork, the leanest cuts of beef and pork are loin and round. And you can also get lean ground beef or you can use ground turkey. Um, and then um, and then one fourth of your plate is the starchy thing. So um, the recommendation for that is like a fist. So like a fist and that's like a cup. It's recommended that you have the whole grains in the starchy section. Um, so I gave you, I brought some examples of the whole grains. Um, one of the things I like to make is um, fajitas, and it's really easy to make them in, you know, on the grill, or you can make them in the oven or the air fryer. And um, these um, carb balance whole grain tortillas are really good, and um, they hold up better, better than the other tortillas. They don't fall apart. And one tortilla has um, 18 grams of carbohydrate so it's basically one tortilla or one carbohydrate choice so and then plus it has fiber in it so it helps fill you up a little bit more so this is a good choice um, another thing um, is the whole grain bread that's a really good choice and then you can also substitute some of the things instead of having um, rice you could use these this is um, riced this is um, cauliflower that's um, riced and they're using it to have um, cauliflower risotto medley and I've seen some that are um, fried rice and they use the cauliflower so instead of having the rice which has a lot of carbohydrates they're using the cauliflower which doesn't have very many at all another thing you can do is um, use like um, the zoodles so this is a meal that has the zoodles and so it's like um, taking a vegetable and then making it into spirals with a machine or you can even buy them um, in the store so this is um, carrots that are made into spirals so you can use those instead of spaghetti um, and then this is a frozen dinner that has the zoodles on the bottom so it's zucchini made into the spirals and so instead of using spaghetti which has carbohydrates you're using the vegetable. And so it's a good way to sneak in some vegetables and cut down on the carbohydrates. And then here's another meal. Um, these are pretty good to take to work. These are the power bowls. And then this is also using the um, cauliflower that it's riced instead of having um, rice in it. So this is a, it's a very healthy one and it's only 170 calories and it's two carbohydrate choices. So you can really cut down on your um, carbohydrates during your lunch time. So here's um, a spaghetti squash. And so I washed it and cut it in half and then um, took all the seeds out and I 
put a little olive oil on it and salt and pepper and put it in an oven at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. And once you do that, um, you can just see how it just comes apart. And it um, this would be fun for your kids to do once it cools down. Um, it it's This is a spaghetti squash and you can have this. It's a vegetable instead of having um, spaghetti that's pasta, you can switch out and use this spaghetti squash and it cuts way back on the carbohydrates. So then you can just um, put it in a bowl and you can add some ground turkey or um, lean hamburger and you can add maybe some spaghetti, um, spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce and a little bit of cheese and it makes into a good healthy meal. Or you can use put some um, diced tomatoes in it. Um, one other thing I was going to mention is the Mrs. Dash is um, lower in sodium. And so this has, um, Dash stands for Dietary Approaches for Stopping Hypertension. And this is the um, salt-free pot roast. So you can make your pot roast and um, have it without any sodium, it's just natural herbs. And then they also have one for beef stew, taco seasoning, chili seasoning, sloppy joe, and meatloaf. And they have um, probably 20 or more uh, um, the seasonings like this, and this is tomato, basil, garlic. So you could add this to your spaghetti squash with your um, pizza sauce and a little cheese and it would taste delicious. So um, another thing instead of having the um, like tater tots, you, should, you could also get these. These are broccoli and, and cheese um, and they're made into a shape of a, tor uh, of a tot. So broccoli tots is what they're called. And so this would be um, good with like some chicken nuggets or something and you're sneaking some vegetables in for your kids and your the rest of your family. And it, they taste really good. Or another version, um, you can also do, instead of having the white um, fries, you can do the sweet potato fries. And there's another, this is, um, this is a cauliflower crust, and it just has um, tomatoes and um, cheese on it. So I haven't tried this yet, but it looks pretty good. So there's a lot of ways you can cut back on your carbohydrates. Um, I always recommend the first thing if you have diabetes is stopping sugary drinks. So it's a good thing to bring your water bottle to work and drink that throughout the day. But if you kind of get tired of water, there's lots of things that you can drink that are sugar-free. Um, this is Spindrift. Um, it just has a little bit of natural fruit in it and it's 10 calories and very low in carbohydrates. So this is a, a healthy drink if you're sick of water, it has a little carbonation in it and a little uh, flavoring from a real fruit. It doesn't have any artificial sweeteners. And then, um, there's also, you can drink unsweetened tea, or this one has some artificial sweeteners, and um, this is the diet um, berry tea. So there's a lot of things you can drink. It's best not to drink um, sugary drinks. Um, that's the first step in diabetes meal planning is cut out the sugary drinks, and then try to add some more carbohydrates, lean meats, but if you're interested in setting up an appointment, you can give us a call at the Diabetes Program. Um, our no phone number is 627-7931. Thank you and have a good Diabetes Month.